So last week, we got a chance to check out the LG G6. This is the signature OLED TV set, and we got to check it out with Dolby Vision. And we'll get to Dolby Vision in a second, but the G6 is a super thin premium TV set. Comes in either 77 or 65 inches, and it's an absolute gorgeous beauty, as you can see here. And now the LG G6 is an OLED TV, and you know I'm a big fan of OLED TVs. Uh, uh, they've done a good job in crafting it. It's got a base that's got a, basically, it, which is a speaker system. It's a harmonic speaker system built into the base that gives you some really good audio. And I have to say, it, it handled that pretty well from uh, my use case. Now, in terms of just picture quality, of course, this is a 4K TV set. Uh, it's also got 3D built into there into it and images look absolutely amazing. Now, uh, the, the LG G6 comes with two, two remote controls. Uh, one is a standard remote. The second one is a much more simplistic remote control. Now, the of course, uh, the remote still has the one capability as a standard one, but this smaller remote control here has a volume, channel, mute, uh, your smart home button back, as well as your source button. So it's a very simple, easy remote control to use. If you know you don't want to get into uh, the nitty gritty of having a full size remote, but they give you both options. So if you're one who is looking for more functionality with remote control, the G6 has either option for you. Uh, and LG is, says that this is what they feel that consumers will like best. Now, uh, talking about WebOS 3.0, which of course is the latest version of WebOS, you, of course you have all your apps in front, but the coolest thing now is that you can actually pin your shows to the sidebar there. So you can see there's a TV, there's a movie Brooklyn, of course, uh, this family guy, and I can go ahead and pin a show like Fuller House right there. I all have to do is search for a show I want and I can pin it to that bar. As long as it's, you know, it, it doesn't matter even if I've signed on to the service or not, I can pin that there, which is nice. So uh, it will give me options of services to, to actually view that content. But the idea of having the show pinned there or the movie pinned there means I have quick access to it anytime I want. So that's one of the cooler new features of WebOS on here. Now, of course, if Dolby Vision is actually playing in the background, that actually is highlighted and it shows that Dolby Vision is on. Now, what is Dolby Vision? It's a form of HDR content and uh, it actually does a fantastic job in just the viewing presence. Another cool feature is also as you're watching TV, you can actually play music if it's connected to USB flash drive and you use your TV as a screensaver or background. Now, getting to some Dolby Vision content, this is pan here and you can see the colors as they pop out. It is absolutely amazing watching uh, content off this. You can see how the colors, even though it's a dark scene, you can see the green threads there. You can see how the lighting displacement goes from side to side and uh, watching, just watching the way it, 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 uh, it displays the arrays of colors. It's something to actually behold. It's something you really have to see in person uh, to fully appreciate what the LG G6 does. This is actually a scene from um, Jupiter Ascending. And again, this is, uh, you can see how rich and vibrant it is. See how the orange explosion pops out, the blues, the color variants, everything is just mixed in very, very well. And I have to say, I think uh, they've done a fantastic job with it. Uh, WebOS 3.0 has been improved uh, a lot to a large degree. There's more functionality built into it. Uh, it's not a, a huge upgrade, but it is a, a, a solid step forward. I do like the little images they add to uh, different options there. So you kind of give, gives you an idea of, you know, uh, an explanation of what you're actually looking at and what that act of functionality is for. So it's very descriptive and something I, I think helps the user use this TV well. Now, Adobe Vision is a technology both used in cinemas as well as also on the LG G6. Uh, you, uh, a few applications will be taking advantage of it, including Netflix and Vudu. Shows like Marco Polo already support Adobe Vision. And of course, more shows will be doing that in the future. So uh, in terms of movies, uh, Jungle Book, as well as Batman, be Superman, I also have Dolby Vision uh, experience in theaters. Uh, that being said though, I have to say that I really enjoyed you checking out the LG G6 and I like what it has to offer. Can't wait to have bring it in-house to see how well this TV handles and what it actually offers for the home user in terms of picture quality, the use of Dolby Vision, and also how HDR as a whole can improve your viewing experience. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.